You know when they wanted to travel to like Pepsi mm. people, I could not travel with them. Why? They didn't give me my visa. passport. No, I lost my passport. So I had to redo another one. So there's one man that now deceived me in immigration that oh, don't worry that. You know, if you like, they rush passport, if you pay mm. some certain amount of money, they just mm. do it fast. He said, within a week, so I'll get my passport fast. And it didn't happen. Hey guys, I'm so sorry for reporting today. It's so late. Yeah, I should have done this video a long time ago. Okay, I'm still going to talk about what I need to talk about. But before then, um, who has been following up this mobile story? It's quite a sad one. And the new evidences, I wouldn't even call it evidences, the videos making rounds on social media are actually not helping. Those videos are linking the whole stuff to the whole Naramali, those drama, not helping at all. It's sad if you ask me. Anyways, guys, take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you're here to do so. Let's get started. So today was all about the um, shopping and they had drama yeah they had some shopping drama that happened starting with the curse that um alex laid on the housemates because she realized that the coins that um doing had given to her got missing yes speaking of doing doing also confirmed doing confirmed that she instructed cc not to let anyone kiss her picture yes she did although i did make a video and i said i just could not remember sissy making um talking about that during the course of the, the outburst she had with elebaye apparently don't you did tell sissy that and i did not say it you did not say it because the tv went off it was on a sunday live eviction show you know how they ha they show just one channel so when Ebuka is on stage and the camera is on him on stage we don't get to see what the housemates are, are all about to get so it was that period that doing made that statement so she went on hon honey bunch i keep calling it calling it honey bunch i think that's the old name she is it glitch she went on this podcast and she said this let's watch this video Oh, see, see, see. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was after I had the old oh, chat to Ibuka about Venita on the live show, mm -hmm. the screen went off for a minute and I had said it in the lounge area. I'm like, oh, God, I hope they leave me in this house because this house is going to be hot. Mm -hmm. After And then I'm like, but don't worry if I go, Sissy, please make sure there are no fake kisses on my picture. I said is that to her, yeah, but like me, I said that as bad, you know, banter, like my girl, like make sure there are no, no fake kisses on my picture. But I wasn't referring to anyone in particular. I just right. didn't, I just yarn. So right. I told her, I was like, Sissy, put on red lipstick and kiss my pictures, for, my picture for me. Like I just said it to her. So I think she literally took that like verbatim. Like, yeah. okay, she gave me an assignment and I went, I'm okay, that was yeah. Great. So, oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So that was why, um, what was the name? That was why Sissy cleaned the kiss the kisses that they had that eleba you had on um on what's the name on her picture although she said it was a joke but she did not say it there it was to her she said she didn't think sissy was going to um take action and swing into action the way she did but to her she thought it was a joke but of course you gave an instruction you gave her a letter you made her feel good you gave her your coins so it's okay for her to want to carry out that stuff so for those of us that ran with the story and called sissy the devil or called a lebaye this or that guys so it's up to you guys to see and we have have a rethink if there's a need for that and you know make peace it's all love and light here so let's go back to the whole curse so um, um alex realized that her coins got missing yeah the coins that that don't had given to her got stolen so she went ahead to lay some lay a curse on the housemates let's watch this video that's money that Doi gave me you. Who did? Please, 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 back to the whole um shopping stuff it was even during the course of the, the the shopping she realized that so there was something that was about to happen that i think um i think venita had had stopped it from happening but i don't know if that was all accusation 
because cross no cross is not effective in when it comes to communication so i really cannot tell if that was 100 percent what it was or it was just mere speculation and assumption from um summer so the housemates cross imposed it on the housemates that everyone should contribute 200 money coins for the house, shop, house shopping at first most of the housemates were cool but later at first most of them not all of them Benita said she wasn't cool but she later spoke up and said no she cannot do um, 200 money coins that she worked so hard for her coins that some people would eat more than others so it doesn't make sense and she was like Biggie is still going to give them the, the basics so what's the point what's the point so it would make sense for them to contribute less so after the whole drama the back and forth she had with cross they ended up going for two for hundred money coins and then it, that's the basic every, the, the the list you would contribute 100 for the whole house and the extra for personal shopping so people were generous enough that they contributed more than 100 for the house to get yeah so after the contribution and everything people had given for personal personal shopping and all that according to venita she was asking Soma, why did why did Soma contribute 400 to the whole house knowing that she he doesn't have much coins and angel doesn't have much much coins and they didn't do personal shopping that was something she said she could not understand so she decided to have a conversation with um Soma about it so i told her that see the people that thought they contributed for um, personal shopping are just deceiving themselves because cross said he's going to add everything together and shop for the whole house when Venita heard this, she was pissed. She was not happy. She was like, how can Cross do such a thing? She, that if he's ready to do that, then he should be ready to face her wrath. So what Venita did, she went on to have a conversation with Cross just to confirm what she, what she heard from Summer. During the course of the conversation, Cross did not say much, yeah? She was like, Summer had told us, and Barry was there, that you have this plan and the plan is to use all the money regardless of the reason why the money was contributed like the whole personal personal shopping stuff your plan was to use all the money and shop for the whole house is that true i don't think cross was um clear with his um his explanation in the beginning because according not according to venita venita had taken cross aside in the garden to have this very first conversation because they did have a second conversation about this so after that they went back to the house and they did their personal shopping because biggie had to open the shopping cart and they all shopped and everything was happy i mean everyone everyone was happy and it seemed as though there was peace so venita had a bit saw the need to still approach cross cross to clear the thing clear the air because this time around they had a conversation in the locker room and this was where she went on to tell cross that it was summer sorry guys the very first time she had a conversation with chris about this i don't think she mentioned suma's name suma was even there when we were having a conversation and he went went mute he didn't say much and later he left the conversation he was right there so i guess that was why she didn't mention his name so the second time she was with cross in the locker room she came out and mentioned suma's name and she went in depth with her explanation cross did not say much but he was kind of disappointed in a way, he was like he wouldn't have done such. That that wasn't it. That so I just assumed. And then they seized the opportunity to iron out the differences, because of late, um, not just Benita alone. Stacy, they think Cross is being selfish. He thinks about himself alone. And I don't think Stacy is far from the truth because we saw how Cross was all over. Um, came up when she came around before and came up came into the house. It was um sissy that was there for cross and all that so during the course of the conversation that cross had with venita venita had mentioned their relationship outside she also spoke about how she viewed cross outside that cross is more of a reflectatious person that does not that does not necessarily mean that he has to have such kind of friends she said when she first met cross that was the uh, mindset she had about him but when she got closer to his cousin and him and she got to know him better she saw him differently so she was even advising him that he should learn to have better friends not better friends but friends beyond flirt flirting you get what i mean yeah so guys that was just basically what your conversation was all about they spoke about other things and in labor you also spoke about her experience with the whole south african journey you know during her season um pepsi had taken them all to south africa but a was the only housemate that was missing i think so i look forward to seeing her 
but it was sad I didn't see her. That time I asked myself so many questions. Why wasn't she there? I had no idea. So today in the garden, she was with um, Omashola and she was helping him out with his hair. That was when she revealed to us the reason why she didn't make it. According to her, she had misplaced her own passport. I remember her telling white money that she went to Paris, 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 or whichever way it's being pronounced, for excursion in school. So she's traveled out of the country and she has a passport. So she said she misplaced her passport. So when it was time for them to travel, did she met a, a guy that said he was going to give her express service for her passport. But it happened to be that the passport took longer than she expected. So the camera moved at the point where she said that she got the passport two days. I don't know if it was two days after departure or two days before the housemate left. So she just could not join them. Very sad. I hope Pepsi takes them on a tour to South Africa because she's looking forward to going to South Africa again. I hope so. Honestly, I hope so. They need to compensate for her not being there the last time. I think she deserves to go to South Africa. Seeing that all of her housemates went and I don't think it was 100% her fault because her passport wasn't ready at that point in time. So guys, this is it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and definitely I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.